Let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit about Anthropic and the bet that you're making there. Uh, I mean, $65 billion valuation at this point in time with the latest fundraise. What excites you about what's going on at Anthropic? Mm. What really excites, us, excites me the most about Anthropic is we're finally seeing a world where that really highly skilled job, you can have a machine do a lot, lot of parts of that. Mm. And that's a tectonic shift in mm. like how you how we even see the future of technology evolving. And so, you know, I, the other day, went on my computer and we were analyzing some data for this mm. company. This was like a 100 MB Excel file. It takes two minutes just to even open on, right. your, on your Excel on your computer. And I want to run this analysis. I open up this Anthropic product called Claude Code and I just say, hey, you know what? I just want you to run a cohort retention analysis on a dollar basis, transaction basis, and a customer mm. basis. That's a task that would normally take, you know, an MBA associate maybe a week mm. worth of time yeah. to do all of this stuff together. Yeah. It took the computer two minutes. It printed out these beautiful, beautiful graphs that I could see. Um, and if that's not magical, I don't know what is. And but I it's think that's magical what's so and scary at the same time. I mean, even the team at Anthropic is warning us about a white collar uh, bloodbath. So in this context, then, is computer science really going to be the sexy thing that people want to do? Or is our MBA associates going to be a thing in the future? I mean, what are we talking about? I know it's really scary and there are parts of, I think, every technological shift that can be a bit scary. I do think that it's really hard to predict the future, obviously, mm. with things like this. And you honestly risk sounding very foolish by yeah. even trying to make any predictions. Yeah. I don't even know what's going to happen four weeks from now, mm. right? All of the guesses on how models change, how the intelligence increases over time, we don't know. Mm. That being said, if I were to look at history, usually what happens in history yeah. is when there is a monumental shift, humans find a way to adapt yeah. and do something else. Yeah. And yes, is it a risk? Are white collar jobs in danger? Maybe. Mm. But one can also make the argument that even if you didn't need 100 people to do the job, you can get the same job done with 10 people. And maybe those 90 people can go do other new things. Mm. And it's net more productive to mm. um, society. 